Cost Cutters is your family's full-service salon specializing in cuts, colors, and curls. Visit any one of our professional stylists today and get the look you want for less. Hello and welcome to Making the Grade, Winona Area Public Schools monthly, radio, or monthly t television show. My first guest this morning, or the, today, is Jesse Darst, who is the director of Ready Set School. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks for joining me today. So tell us a little bit about Ready Set School and how it benefits our community. Okay, so Ready Set School is a nonprofit organization um, for all of Winona County. Um, and it, we aim to find the kids that need help getting school supplies and the teachers in the classrooms who are also needing school supplies. So um, we are kicking off our fundraising season right now, um, March 31st through May 31st, and this is when we're really going to push hard to bring in all the, the donations and the grants so that this summer we can um, distribute vouchers to kids so that they will have their like gift cards to get everything on their list before school starts in September. So if a family was interested in accessing Ready Set School, do mm -hmm. they go through their school? Do they go through Ready Set School? Um, we have the website application will be April 15th, and it'll run through the end of May. Um, we're working with schools to make sure if there's families who don't have um, a computer or internet at home, that they can, someone at school will um, find them a place to sit and help them with that. Um, we also have people at Project Fine if there's a language issue to help them. Um, it's, it's not a lot of information. We just need names and school that they're going to be attending and then um, just a few financial details and that's it. Sure. So if a family is wondering where is their child's school supplies going to come from, this mm -hmm. would be an organization mm -hmm. they would reach out sure. to. Sure. Yep. What does is, what is school supplies mean? Are there limits mm -hmm. on what, what parents um, could purchase so with that? So there's the list that comes home every summer from specifically from teachers sure. of, you know, this many crayons, this many glue sticks, this many notebooks. But then there's also things like um, new shoes and pants. And um, for example, my son needed Velcro running shoes this year because he hasn't learned how to tie his shoes yet. So that was another cost that was unexpected. Mm -hmm. So just things like that. Um, it, they're only good at certain participating stores in Winona. Okay. And they're only good on school supplies, clothing, and shoes. Okay. All right. Um, so can you give me a sense of how many families or how many kids access Ready Set School? Last year um, we distributed to 809 students. Wow. So, um, and that I think is 11 different schools in our community. So um, there's, there's little, there's families everywhere. Some right. people need a little bit, some people have one kid who just needs a few more things on their list, and right. some people have, you know, five kids and they all need stuff. So. There's all kinds of families and all kinds of schools. And there's no cap or there's no... Nope. It's, it it's per child. Each child gets? Per child. Yep. We divide the, the money amount evenly for all okay. the eligible children. So the money that Ready Set School takes in mm -hmm. is divided amongst those that apply for the funds? Those that apply and that qualify. Okay. So, yeah. All right. And so that money coming in is a huge piece it of is. Ready Set School. It is. Yeah. So how does somebody help or donate to Ready Set School? Um, well, we have, um, there's a button on our website um, where you can just donate online. Um, you can mail checks to our office at Central School. Otherwise, April's our big month of fundraising events. Okay. So talk about those. Okay. What's coming out? I know um, you have a lot yes. in front of you. Yes. Yet, so. um, the first one, um, and this is one of the, the, the big popular ones every year, is um, April 5th is Ready, Set, Root Beer at Lakeview Drive-In. So that runs all day, 10% of the proceeds of everything they sell that day will be donated to us. Okay. So that's a great way to kick off the month. So April 5th? Yep, Wednesday, April 5th. Okay. Um, Saturday, April 8th is um, a new one, Ready, Set, Haircut. So Cambridge um, Hair Salon downtown will be doing haircuts Saturday morning and the proceeds from that will be going to us. Um, and then we're doing a new one this year called Ready, Set, Downtown on Tuesday, April 11th. And that will be participating downtown um, businesses, Yarnology, Blooming Grounds, Winona Bread and Bagel, Sammy's Pizza, Nate and Allie's, and Beano's. And that will be 10% of the, all of their proceeds for that day. Okay. So we're hoping to get, you know, make it a little more festive, mm -hmm. a little more of an event. Um, and then also 10% of the sale of Dansko Shoes at Baker Shoes and 10% of greeting cards from Heart's Desire. Oh. So um, just kind of trying to make it a fun thing for everyone mm -hmm. um, and really also a really good fundraiser for the kids. Absolutely. So what kind of funds does Ready Set School set their goal? What is your fundraising goal? 
Um, last year we had um, 800, like I said, 809 people applied and we gave them each $50 gift cards. Okay. So if we have more people this year, we're going to need to raise a little more money mm -hmm. if we want to keep that value per kid up sure. high. Keep the $50 mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So let's recap those events. Yes. So the dates, um, April 4th. Wednesday, April 5th. April 5th. Ready, set, Lakeview. root beer. Ready, mm -hmm. set, root beer at Lakeview. Yep. yep. Saturday the 8th is Ready, Set, Haircut Ready, at, set Cambridge. Haircut at Cambridge. Yep. Tuesday the 11th is Ready, Set, Downtown, which is all over downtown, so just come spend the day. Sure. Um, and then Tuesday the 18th is Ready, Set, Pizza at Godfather's, and Tuesday the 25th is Ready, Set, Donut at Blado's, which donut. is always a hit, too. <laughs> so why, why did you choose to get involved in Ready, Set, School? Um... I, I have a hard time really putting my heart into something that I don't care about. Mm -hmm. And so if I needed to work behind a desk and just type in numbers, I could do that. But this is something that is exciting to me and something that I care about. And mm -hmm. I like going to schools and giving them supplies and helping kids. And my kid is in school now. And so it's, it feels really good to get involved and sure. to help the, whole, help the kids and the schools do better. Right. Right. Are there other volunteer? Do you need other volunteer time, or is there any other way besides financially that a family could decide to help Ready Set School, or is that pretty much taken care of? Um, we, if financial donations um, aren't something that people can do, we do take um, school supply donations. Oh, okay. So when you're out shopping, if you see something on clearance and you want to drop it by us, that helps too. Sure. We do have new new student backpacks on hand for kids who show up in the middle of the year. Right. Well, thank you for all yes. you do for Ready, Set, School. It yeah. is such an amazing program, and I know there's so many kids that benefit, and we don't even know, and they don't have to tell anyone, mm -hmm. and um, there's not any stigmatism attached to mm -hmm. it. So I certainly appreciate all you're doing for our kids in Winona Area mm -hmm. Public Schools. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Yep. And please join us for our next segment, uh, where we'll talk with Sue McNally, the Director of Activities at the Middle School, and talk about key kids in the summer. Perfect. Perfect. Getting the right look at the right price Perfect. is always in style at Cost Cutters. Located in the professional building in the Winona Mall, 507 454 6030. Get closer to the action like never before with NASCAR Race Hub on FS1. At the track. Looks like Superman 1. In the shop. Catching up with Joey Logano. On the headsets and behind the scenes. Every night, the place to be on FS1. Hear the story from the drivers who live here. That's how tough the track was to drive. And get the ultimate setup from the legends of the sport. You can't script it. There's certain things out of your control. NASCAR Race Hub, all season long on FS1. NFL Total Access, the only live nightly show dedicated to the NFL with exclusive off-season coverage and up-to-the-minute news. Trending worldwide after the news broke. Interviews. I love these receivers and we have a great relationship. And analysis. This defense, this team is built to win now. All leading up to the NFL Draft. With the first pick in the NFL Draft. Everything NFL. Let's go! Every day. It is caught! Touchdown! NFL Total Access, Monday through Saturday at 7, live on NFL Network. People think small towns not cool, but they're wrong. We're committed to changing that one house at a time. Oh, wow. I'm an artist. Erin is the most talented person I've ever met. I'm a craftsman. Ben is a problem solver. He just knows how to fix it. Our we're, powers combined, we're pretty creative. We just want to give all the old houses some love. We're doing this. We're saving this town because it's worth it. All new Hometown, Tuesday night at 10 on HGTV. Perfect. 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 Getting the right look at the right price. Perfect. Is always in style at Cost Cutters. Located in the professional building in the Winona Mall, 507-454-6030. Cost Cutters is your family's full-service salon specializing in cuts, colors, and curls. Visit any one of our professional stylists today and get the look you want for less. 
All right, and we're back with Making the Grade, Winona Area Public Schools' monthly television show. Our second segment is here, I'm here with Sue McNally, who is our activities director at the middle school, but one of her huge jobs is Summer Key Kids, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Yes. So, well, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Summer Key Kids? What is, what is it in general, and then we'll talk specifics, but what is Summer Key Kids? Okay. Um, Key Kids is school age child care that we, we happen all year long. Obviously during the summer we condense down to one school instead of being at all four. Okay. So we are at the middle school because it's air conditioned. <laughs> we Important. Have, it's for children entering grades kindergarten through sixth. So kids who haven't even started in school yet okay. can come during the summer. It really acclimates them to that group setting and getting in line mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. whole the whole gamut. So, oh, that stuff. and then we still let kids come who are still entering sixth grade. Okay. Um, so during the summer, we do everything from our, you know, we're gonna get into that later. You said, but <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what does a typical Key Kids day look like? Or a week? Maybe it's better to go by a week. But what if a child okay. is gonna go to Key Kids? What does that look like? We do um, camp sessions. So we do two week camp sessions. So there'll be five camp sessions, and then one week at the end where we don't have camp, which are generally just field trips. Okay. Um, Depending upon the grade you're in, we have the kids that are entering kindergarten are considered our little bear kids. So they stay together all summer. Okay. They will mix with the older kids, but they also have their own camp all summer. It, theirs changes weekly, what they're going to do, their activity. Um, kids who are entering first and second will be in one house. We use um, the sixth grade hallway, the two house areas. Mm -hmm. So we have the house area and then the different classrooms. Okay. And then the third through sixth graders will be in the other house and then use the classrooms. Okay. So um, what it's going to be this year is there's three camps that run simultaneously and the kids will get to do all three camps. Okay. So they'll do an hour a day of each of the camps. It used to be where they had to pick which camp they wanted to do sure. and they did it for two weeks. And we've kind of found that the kids, um, that gets long for them and they want right. to do more than one camp. So now they're going to get to do all three in one day. And, and what are some examples of those camps? Oh, gosh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Arts and crafts. We have Disney, Oopie Goopy, um, Team Sports, Great Outdoors, Fear Factor, Color Splash Survivor, Key Kids Has Talent, the Transportation One, Cowabunga, which is Water Camp, oh. um, Zoo Fari, Holiday Happenings, Science, Under the Sea. Can, all adult, sorts of can adults sign up for that? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> you can come work there if you want. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah. So if, if a family, could they sign up for just a specific week or yes. is it a whole summer a commitment um, or how does that work? It is kids who are already in Key Kids, they just have to complete um, a form and they just flow right into summer Key Kids. Okay. Because they need to let us know they're coming. If you are new to the program, there's a registration form to fill out and let us know what days you're going to come on. Okay. If you have a child who's only going to be here um, you're going to have, you know, we have, you know, different households mm -hmm. or grandparents sometimes will have kids for a few weeks in the summer. They need to come for a couple weeks. That's fine. We will sure. take them. Just whatever they need, you can, they can sign up for that. Yes. What are the hours of Key Kids? We are open from 6.30 in the morning until 5.30 at night, okay. Monday through Friday. Um, every Wednesday we go to the aquatic center in the afternoon and swim. Okay. Every other Friday we do a larger field trip, like we'll go to the Crescent Pool or High Roller. We've gone to the Houston County Fair. Um, we've been to baseball games. We've done all sorts all of different sorts. field trips. And the parents are responsible for getting the child to the middle school and picking them up. Yes. There's no transportation they, provided. We transport to and from the pool and sure. field trips. They drop off and they pick up. They drop off. We use um, a software system called ProCare. The parents clock them in, they clock them out, and then they're billed accordingly. Okay. Which is a day rate. All right. Or and half day rate. Yeah. And something new that we've started is a, a lunch program associated with yes. Key Kids. So tell me a little bit about that. Okay. Um, we have the kids can have breakfast and lunch through the school's nutrition program. Okay. So we do breakfast from about 7.30 to 8.15. We take the kids out who want to eat breakfast and they go through the lunch line just like they would at school. Okay. And then at lunchtime, the majority of them do all go eat lunch. A few mm -hmm. will bring their cold lunch if they don't like what we're having. But there is no additional cost for the breakfast or lunch. Okay, so and that's we free. Also, yep, so, and we also right. serve afternoon snack, which also has no additional cost. Okay. So you drop them off, they get breakfast, lunch, and afternoon snack. You pick them up, and yeah. Wow, that sounds amazing. 
It is amazing. Yeah. We are amazing. <laughs> what about those parents that maybe maybe kind of concerned about the middle school as a location? If they, especially you know, those incoming kindergartners or those that are used to a smaller elementary, what's been your experience in watching those kids adjust to being in the middle school? They do very well. Okay. Most of them already have a good group of who they're friends with because they're you know we get kids from all the elementary schools. Right. Um, but then they have that smaller camp setting. So even though there may be a hundred and some kids there and you divide up into the grades, into the house areas and you divide up into your camp, you still have that small group atmosphere. Right. Um, and then our staff are outstanding. We yeah. have lots of Winona State students who are pretty much all um, elementary ed majors, psychology majors. Great, great but experience. But we have you know, an older person in that key role. We hire like one person who's the head of it. Well, I'm the head of it. And then there's <laughs> one person I appoint in charge. Sure. And then I have a house lead in each house and then there's camp leaders in each house okay so, so lots of support there lots right of support lots and then support. we do staff extra assistance in the right. each of the camps too so i know key kids is a huge summer thing it for is. you but you also do summer camps i do so what kinds of summer camps are we offering to our kids and families this year we have a lot of those <laughs> happening they're all happening right away in june <laughs> right away um, so okay well that's for all ages you know kids, right um k through 12 so obviously we have football camp um, the end of June, there's volleyball camp for elementary and high school. There's solo spike, which is high school. Okay. We do um, girls basketball. We have uh, hoops and conditioning, which is at the middle school where the kids can do weight room for an hour and a half and they go to basketball for an hour and a half and that runs on all June and July, Monday through Thursday. Okay. So it's they can come when they need to. It's just kind of keeping kids, you know, connected to their friends right. and fit and offering them something to do. And that's free. That, those are free. That one is that free. That one is free. Okay. Most of them have a fee tied to it. Okay. Hoops and conditioning and girls basketball do not have a fee. Okay. Um, so if someone was interested in seeing that list that you just talked about, where, where would they go to find that or how could they get more it information? It will be, it's all on the community education website. Okay. It will be going home with all the kids after school in a handout or a, a trifold brochure. Mm -hmm. We'll have it at the middle school. Um, but basically it's really all online. It's all there. Um, what about summer enrichment classes? Do you do any of those? We do. We okay. have um, Kool-Aid and Canvas, which has been overwhelmingly popular the past okay. two summers. We have a lady come in and the kids do the canvas painting. It's similar to the wine and wine canvas, canvas, but we do Kool-Aid Kool and Canvas. canvas. I, like yes. I like that. I like that. Sure. <laughs> so they get that instead. Okay. Um, we also have a, a babysitting class that happens right away in June for those middle schoolers who are wanting to do babysitting. It gives them a quick overview. It's a three hour long class. Okay. Well, is there a certification through. attached to that or is it just, um, they can they say. They do get a certificate, but it's not, um, it's just letting you know parents, parents know that sure. they have had a class on emergency procedures, basic first aid, sure. um, things like that to help them. We also have a home alone class, which is kind of for that third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade. Um, if um, parents are worried about their child being home alone all summer, this is a, um, a two hour long class they can take okay. to help the kids come up with ideas of what to do during your time. What happens right. if there's an emergency? What do I do and play out different situations mm -hmm. with them? Gosh, um, such a variety of offerings. We also have the Spanish. There's a Spanish one for okay. the kids who are already involved in the Spanish program. In the immersion Madison. program, okay. Yep. And do you remember if I have another one? I think that's all we have that's right a lot. now. That's a but lot. We're always looking for more. So, so yeah. So if someone has an idea, what do they just contact they you? Just contact me. Shoot okay. me an email, or and you work with them. I know we did that for the emerging kids, and yes, you were great mm -hmm. to work with on that. So, so they could just send you an email. And say absolutely. Wow. Well, you have taught me so much <laughs> about what we do in the summer for our kids. I know it's we don't have a, busy. <laughs> it is, and we don't have a structured summer school. So these are great learning opportunities and social opportunities for our kids. So yeah. thank you. No problem. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right. And thank you for joining us for Making the Grade, Winona Area Public Schools monthly television show about the great things happening in Winona Area Public Schools.